I think in your book uh, you mentioned about a company called Circuit City. As a matter of fact, Circuit City was part of the Good to Great book uh, where Jim Kellens talk about how great this organization is. And eventually even a great company, uh, co company went out of business and I believe you made an argument there in your book that the reason Circuit City was struggling is because they replaced the experienced salespeople with inexperienced salespeople to cut cost and we came back to harm them. Can you there, tell me a little bit? Yeah, I'll tell you, but there's an expression I use, I don't, I don't th think I use it, about Napoleon's thought on help, that uh, uh, active uh, dumb people should be shot. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the whole phrase, but that's a, the, the head of The head of Circuit City was not a merchant or I don't know where he came from. They had a wonderful business going, but they made a couple of mistakes, like most companies, and it's written up at Times today too, too many stores, too much inventory. You could live through that by getting rid of the stores and get, you know, cutting your inventories. But what he did, he realized that the salespeople were being paid too much. And he decided to let them go, which he did, and hired another level of new people. And the stock, i never forget it, dropped from 8 to $4 in one day. And a year later, they were bankrupt, and they got rid of this guy. Um, unforgivable. I mean, it, it, he obviously did not know his business, did not go in the store, and think of all the people who lost their jobs. And, but you filter that thing down. I went to uh, Home Depot the other day. I hadn't been to Home Depot in five years. My wife wanted me to get a, a ladder. Went to Home Depot. I found a salesman. Couldn't have been nicer. Took us where we wanted to look at. Signed up. I said, send it. I'm not going to carry it in the car. He said, well, be there Tuesday. The, I had a telephone call before it arrived. We we're ready to deliver. Will you be there? I said, I'll be here. The man arrived. He delivered it. Put it there. I had a call. Oh, he said, by the way, if you get a call about the service, I would appreciate you saying it was good. I said, it's very good. Sure enough, an hour later, I had a call. And it, this is follow through. This is, this is uh, I wanted to know, press one through five. Was service good, delivery good, demand good, and so on and so forth. And Home Depot, to do that in a gigantic business and follow through like that is remarkable. Yeah, it's a remarkable business. I know Marcus, who lives in Boca Raton, a friend of my family, but I'll write to him. That's how to do it. Mm -hmm. Remarkable. remarkable. It's great. But that, back to Circuit City, the, the lack of understanding not only who your customer is, how they want to be treated, is so simple. But people are too busy opening stores, running around and so and on. I believe you, you were mentioning, a, a t sharing a story uh, on the event about your visit to C CVS uh, where you weren't treated properly by the customer and then you're sharing your experience. It was, it was, very, it was very funny. Again, my wife said, I, want, I can't find this particular hair thing, whatever she was looking for. And she said, I know I, I once bought one for CVS on, on this phone. So I said, okay, Sunday afternoon, let's go. I'd never been in a CVS before. Obviously, the place was gigantic and uh, not a salesperson or anyone, not anyone to help. And uh, she eventually found it, went to the desk, asked the fellow, is this what we want? He didn't know. And I marvel at the stupidity of executives who can open businesses like that and not have the brains to figure, if a woman walks into the store, a good salesman will say, as I mentioned in Radio Shack, I have this, but I also have this, which will make that better. And a, sales, a proper salesman, a professional salesperson, can trade you up without you even knowing about it, and yet being very happy about it. And th that, to me, is the single biggest, greatest opportunity for business today. Because, as I said, to me, it's a lost art. A lot of people you talk to don't understand it.